Rica. The story so far. A machine is something that helps you use your energy more effectively. One of the simplest machines is the incline plane, which allows you to trade increased distance for decreased effort or force. By doubling the distance you move a thing, you can half the force you need to exert. And now, the lever. If you're sitting on a teeter-totter, looking for someone to teeter-totter with, and then a big fat guy comes along, what do you do? Do you want to risk it? Now, there's an easy way you could have avoided that. Two easy ways, in fact. You could have either have asked the fat guy to move nearer and nearer to the middle of the teeter-totter until you balanced. Or else, you could have made a little adjustment to the teeter-totter before he sat down on it. And then, you would also have balanced. Both methods really boil down to the same thing. You see that support the teeter-totter is resting on? Well, scientists have a fancy word for that. They call it a fulcrum which is simply Latin for a support or pivot. Anyway, whether the fat guy moves himself closer to the fulcrum, or whether you move him closer to the fulcrum by moving the teeter-totter, the result is the same. The distance between him and the fulcrum becomes less than the distance between you and the fulcrum. And that's the secret of successful teeter-tottering with people heavier than yourself. Or for that matter, the secret of the successful balancing of any object with any other heavier object. If you want to balance a 100 newton weight with another 100 newton weight, you place them both at an equal distance from the fulcrum, let's say two meters. But if you want to balance a 100 newton weight with one that's twice as heavy, you move the 200 newton weight nearer and nearer the fulcrum until it's in just the right place for the two weights to balance. Now you know how to lift a 200 newton weight with a force of only 100 newtons. It looks as if you're getting something for nothing, doesn't it? But you're not. Don't forget that the 200 newton weight is nearer to the fulcrum than you are. How much nearer is it, in fact? One meter? Hmm. So the distance between you and the fulcrum is exactly double the distance between the 200 newton weight and the fulcrum. That means that you have to move your end of the teeter-totter exactly twice as far as the weight moves. You exert a force of 100 newtons through one meter in order to lift a weight of 200 newtons through half a meter. What you win on the force, you lose on the distance. Sound familiar? Of course. It's precisely the same principle as that of the inclined plane. When you double the distance, you can half the force. This is true whether you're using an inclined plane or a teeter-totter. Only we should stop calling it that, because when we use it to make work easier, it's really another sort of simple machine. It's really a lever. Yes, a lever. You use levers all the time. Things that give you leverage. After the inclined plane, it's the commonest simple machine in the world. Even cavemen knew about levers. Not to mention old Archimedes in ancient Greece, who was actually the first person to state the principle of the lever. The longer the arm of the lever to which force is applied, the less that force need be. In fact, he got so excited about this one day that he said, Give me a fulcrum on which to rest, and I will move the earth. That may have been taking things a bit too far. But at least you now know enough to go down and apply Archimedes' principle of the lever to your teeter-tottering. <coughs>